today we'll be discussing about temporomandibular joint so have you ever thought what are the movements occurring at the temporomandibular joint when we yawn when we chew or when we speak this is a joint which actually moves up and down or sideways so temporomandibular joint for mbbs people it is very very important you will get an essay or you will get a short note or you will get uh, the muscles of mastication all these things will be concentrated on temporomandibular joint so let's discuss about temporomandibular joint temporomandibular joint means temporal means the temporal bone and mandibular component will be from the mandible so we have already seen this is a temple this is a temporal bone and this is a temporal fossa and you have the mandible here so this is the temporomandibular joint so we are focusing on this joint that is called temporomandibular joint so whenever we start talking about a joint this is of course a synovial type of joint we will be discussing it under the following headings first we will see the type of joint so this is applicable for any synovial joint you study these should be the musno points or the subheadings under which you are going to explain a joint so this is a synovial joint first you need to say about the type of joint the second one will be the articulating surfaces articulating surfaces involved in this joint so first will be the type of joint second one the articulating surfaces involved in the joint the third one the most important one will be the ligaments the ligaments involved in this joint so first one the type of the joint then the articulating surfaces the next one the ligaments and the fourth one will be the movements movements occurring at this joint then you have the nerve supply the blood supply and the last one but not the least the applied aspect so whenever you start talking about a synovial joint these should be the important things first of all the type then the articulating surfaces then the important ligaments then the movements occurring at this joint then the nerve supply and blood supply of the joint and finally the applied aspects so normally you get a structured essay usually we have a structured essay for university exam then they will be asking or then they will be narrating a history like a person came to you difficulty at the abromandibular joint then you will get sub questions like what type of joint it is what are the movements occurring which are the muscles involved like that you now you will have to answer it so first we will see the type of joint type of joint as we have already mentioned what is the type it is a synovial type of joint then it is again classified as condylar type condylar type so we can put it like it is a condylar type of synovial joint so we can see that though we have two joints one on right side and one on the left side this joint will be acting as a single entity okay so we have condyle the condyle of the mandible at one side and condyle of the mandible at the other side but these two will be acting as a single unit so you call it as bicondylar this is acting as a single unit one unit cannot act on its own so some books even prefer to call it as bicondylar because there are two condyles which are acting simultaneously so it is a type of synovial joint and it is a type of bicondylar variety 